And we'll go ahead and roll right into our next availability. Joining us now, driver of the number three American Ethanol Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing, the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Austin Dillon. Austin, you've had a pretty solid start to the season here with uh, three top tens to go along with an 11th place in the first four races. Uh, what are your thoughts coming into this weekend's race here in Fontana? Uh, biggest thing is just to keep it rolling. Um, and we did that this first practice. So I was proud of the guys. We uh, kept getting better every run, and I, uh, I'm excited. And they've got a really fast car, and hopefully we can back it up to this evening in, in qualifying. Excellent. We'll go ahead and open up the questions for Awesome. You'll raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. We'll start right here with Kenny. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Austin, do you – last year you obviously didn't have – toward the end of the season you started to have these type of performances. But when you look back at the start of last year and then look at this year, what's what's been the difference just from um, those two portions? You know, I, I just think it's carried over from the end of last year. We've uh, we've made personnel changes. We've, we've um, kind of looked at our team and said, okay – our, not only our team, our, our cars, everything, and said, all right, what are we missing as a group? Where can we develop and find speed, you know, speed that, that overlays on Sunday? So um, we've maximized that as much as we can. Uh, get really, uh, you know, we've got aggressive people in the pit box um, with Slugger and my two engineers. They do a great job. I actually use um, another data guy that uh, really helps me as far as my driving abilities and just looking over different throttle traces and brake traces and just trying to take advantage of all that you know the, the great ones do uh, you know Jimmy Johnson he studies every weekend even though he keeps you know he wins he studies before the race and we're, we're studying hard right now Austin tell me uh, based on the, the two of the closest finishes in recent history here uh, you've got a, quite a uh, background in, in dirt racing. Does the, the conditions of the track here and the fact that it's, it gets hot and slick, as Kyle Larson was just mentioned, does that, uh, does that translate when you race here? Yeah, it definitely does. You've got a lot of throttle control, be disciplined here. Um, you got to be able to want to run up by the wall and, and kind of figure that out, the, the line that it takes. So it uh, takes a lot of effort. This place really, um, you know, you got to put yourself into the, the mindset of doing stuff that you don't, normally want to do it makes you a little uncomfortable so um, I, I enjoy it it, uh, it definitely makes you go up there and, and try some different things that you don't get to do every weekend at every racetrack we'll go to Lee and then Dominic and then Chris Lee Spencer Motorsport.com you're in a precarious kind of position with you being the the baby of the bunch over at RCR and you're out running your two veteran teammates how much of it do you think is uh, just how far you've progressed from a performance standpoint, and how much is it the new car? Do you think? Um, I think uh, I think if you look back again, like to the end of last year, we were doing the same thing. I think we were kind of you gain in on it every week, and um, the new car. You know, we knew that we had to make a group effort to make our cars faster. When we ran those two races at Kentucky and Darlington, we struggled, and we felt like we had to do a good job of transitioning um, this year of not getting behind early last year we were behind earlier in the year i think as as an organization and we started playing catch up this year we're closer and um now we just got to keep our, our mindset as focused as we can and keep adding to what we have adding to this base that we started with so um you know i, I i've gotten better teams gotten better cars have gotten better and we're not uh, stopping there we just want to keep getting better Um, I mean, I'll tell you what, we've been flying for the last two years, too, so I, I don't feel like the speed sensation's any real difference there. Um, I just like the ability to be able to race around cars, um, and it doesn't affect the um, the line that you run as much, you know. Usually in, in the old package, you had to be in a different groove than another guy to gain on him, and now it seems like you can kind of at least run near him to, to gain momentum and speed. We'll go to Dominic, then to Chris. Dominic, got to go on the racingexperts.com. So with you being in the chase and your teammates on the outside looking, and how much more have they been leaning on you this season? Um, you know, I think it's all right there for everybody to see as far as our group. We're very open book and our, our teams uh, set. So, you know, and, and the, the hard thing is, you know, when you got a guy or you got a team that's successful, you got to figure out everything that they're doing and, and work together with them. And, you know, they just – 
things hadn't fallen their way at the start of this year, and things are going well for us. And um, at some point in time, I'm going to lean on them. But the good part is I know that they have – my information, I have their information. Everything's pretty much open book between our teams. So we can look at the data and, and um, make each other better. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's going to be a day where we come to track and we're not the fastest and, and we got to lean on them to for some information. Chris Knight, CatchFans.com. Austin, while your cup team is running exceptionally well, uh, the Xfinity Series team is still looking to get some speed, especially to catch the Joe Gibbs racing cars. How do you feel like the RCR Xfinity program, after you guys were really strong last year, is doing so far in 2016? Well, I feel like we, we definitely took a step back uh, from last year's performances in the Xfinity Series, and we just got to go back to work. Um, I feel like this year already, or this race weekend, we've brought – something that's a little more comparable to the Joe Gibbs cars. Um, I think we'll be able to race them a little closer this weekend and hopefully put on a, put on a better show than what they've been putting on up there. You know, they've been pretty much sweeping it both weekends. So it definitely makes you angry, makes you go to work, and uh, that's kind of that's this game. You know, other people push you, and how far do you push back? So we got to start pushing ours as much as we can and, and see what we can come up with. Any additional questions for Austin? Excellent. Austin, thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, guys.